Hello children, in the last video already we have learnt about the plant life. The life of the plant is going to begin with the reproduction as other life of the animals also or organism on this earth. How it is going to begin with the help of the reproduction. Similarly, the uh, plant life is also going to begin with the reproduction. Then the reproduction first uh, mainly comes the seed. With the help of the seed, the reproduction starts. So we have learnt already about uh, how what is uh, seed and what is the structure of seed and which type of uh, 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 seeds are there and how the seedling is going to take place, how the germination is going to take place. And till now we have studied the reproduction is going to take place by seed. Okay, clearly and very briefly we have studied. Then now in this uh, video, today's video, we are learning other than seed, there is a possibility or there are some methods or the ways where we can reproduce the plant. That is reproduction, reproduction other than, other than seeds. Reproduction other than seeds. Any idea how many types of uh, reproduction are there other than seeds? We can grow a new plant here. Yes. So we can grow a new plant by stem <coughs> by leaf and by roots. Again we have three types here. Reproduction of plants can be done by using by using three different methods that is by the stem also the reproduction of plant can take place. There is no necessity of being seed only. By using the stem part of a particular plant we can grow a new plant. Then by using a part, leaf part of a particular plant we can grow a new uh, plant. And then by using the roots of a plant we can grow the new plant. There is no need of any seed. We don't want here seed. Then we will see one by one. By the stem. So we can see example ginger, ginger, turmeric, turmeric, potato, potato, rose plant, rose plant. So uh, these are the examples where we are using the stem part of a plant. For example, see here, this is a stem part of a plant and this stem is having like this branches here and a small node will be there in this branch. If you cut this part, if you cut this part and you are going to plant this one in a soil, again there is a possibility of growing new plant. Here no need of using seeds. Then uh, for example ginger, turmeric plant and the potato and the rose plant, we are uh, growing these all the plants by using this stem part of the plant. Okay, if you keep a potato for so many days, you can see a small whitish uh, sprouting or see a, a small plant like on the potato. It means what? It will start growing after some days. Okay. Then, by the leaf. Second one is with the help of the leaf. Then, which type of plants we can grow with the help of the leaf? Uh, you might have... Uh, uh, see, uh, uh, read this one. Bryophyllum. Bryophyllum is a plant. We can keep this plant for show also in front of our house also in the plant also we can grow or we can keep this like this bryophyllum plant. So here what happens? It will be having a leaf like this. I want to show, try to show you here. It will be having a leaf like this. And here on the margin it has some points there. Okay. So in these points there starts a small uh, uh, sprouting of this leaf. A small points will start growing. Again they first they will show a small leaf. And then there will be a number of leaf. Again the small plant is going to rise on this leaf part. Okay. So like this. Means what? The reproduction of another plant takes place or birth of another plant or life of another plant will take place with the help of the leaf part of the plant. For that the best
best example is this Bryophyllum plantae. Got now? Then next third one we will see the roots of the plant. Roots of the plant. The most plants we are using or we are going to planting by using the roots. If you want to plant a new uh, <coughs> any plant that may be mango, that may be other fruits plants or vegetable plants, how we are going to? We are going to prefer first with the roots. That will be a small plant. We are going to take that plant to our house or we are going that take that plant to the field and there wherever the place is fixed, we are going to plant dig the mud and we will keep there we are going to uh, give some amount of water and again gradually we will give some nutrients for that so like this we are using the most time we are using with the help of the roots so you can give some examples for the roots yes which are the examples uh, like a sweet potato sweet potato radish radish carrot carrot okay and almost other than uh, 80 percent more than 80 percent we are using this method the last third method to go for a reproduction of the plants we are taking a small plant so you might have seen in a rainy season there is a uh, one cell, selling vendor he will be selling a variety of plants there that may be the uh, uh, mango plant or different uh, flower plants and show plants. So what he will do, he will be keeping a small plants. So we will pay for him and we are going to take that plant to the house and we will remove that cover and in the pot we are going to plant for and we will keep in front of our house. So by using this root or last method, we, we are going to reproduce the new plants. I hope now you have got the clearly about these three types of the reproduction that is other than seed. So the reproduction of plant is possible other than the seeds. Okay. So next other than this is there any possible we can grow a plant by using any artificial method. So do you have any idea about that? Other than seeds also we have three types. Now other than, but these all are very natural, naturally taking place methods. But here we are discussing about artificial methods. Artificial. In this, first we have tissue culture. Tissue culture. Next we have stem cutting. Stem cutting. So, so in this tissue culture, what happens? This is a method where we are using a single cell of a plant. Single cell. Single cell of part of a plant, and this cell we will keep in a container. Container with with conditions. With conditions. We will take any part of a plant and we have single cell. Part of a plant, one single cell we will remove from that part. Then we will keep in a container with water, nutrients and the, some uh, temperature. In a, yeah, All these are in a condition, one required condition. So what happens then? After some days there will be a small seedling. Then the germination will take place. Then it will grow. Two leaves will come out and three leaves will come out. Four leaves will come out. Then it will it is start growing a small plant. Then we will remove that plant and we are going to keep in a or we are going to plant in a field outside of the container. This is called as the tissue culture and which is purely artificial method of growing the plant. So by this I am going to end today's video. In the next video, I will give you this homework. Okay, you have to search what is stem cutting and how we are going to grow the plants in the stem cutting. Okay, I hope you will, you will do the homework. In the next video, we will discuss about this also and about the next information also. Okay, bye.